guys, welcome to Get Domesticated. Today I'm going to be reviewing my Fisker Stay Sharp Real Lawnmower, R-E-E-L. Um, this is a kind of old school lawnmower. It spins as you push. Uh, I really like it because it's quiet. You could do it very early in the morning or late at night and not bother your neighbors. You could uh, you can mow your lawn and not smell like exhaust when you're done. It gives you a little bit of a workout, but I don't think it's terribly hard to push. Uh, it's adjustable, so if you slack off a little bit, let your grass grow too long, then you can adjust the height with this knob over here. It goes up to four inches, but honestly it's best to stay on top of things. I uh, leave mine set at about two inches, and when I cut it, I feel like I'm, I'm barely using any effort at all to push it. It, it takes very little space to store. Once you put it inside your shed, uh, folds up kind of like that. It's very easy to maintain. Once in a while, you take a little bit of uh, silicone lubricant. Now this says WD-40 on it, but it's it's silicone lubricant that's made by WD-40. If you're trying to lubricate things with WD-40, then you sh you're a bad person and you should feel bad about yourself. But once in a while, once a season even. You just want to hit uh, a few of the moving parts with some silicone lubricant, and it's easy. Now, Fisker says that this is a stay sharp lawnmower, which means the blades should never need sharpening. Um, coincidentally, they also sell a sharpening kit for this lawnmower, so that tells you that once in a while it needs to be sharpened. But uh, so long as you are only cutting grass with this and you don't accidentally hit a rock that dings the blade or a thick twig that maybe fell on the ground, uh, you shouldn't, theoretically, you shouldn't ever need to sharpen it. Uh, you can check whether or not it's sharp by uh, uh, doing this test that I'm going to show you right now. And the way it cuts grass is this uh, piece that spins, this apparatus that spins, catches the grass between here and the spinning blades. Uh, to make sure that your blades are still sharp and that they are adjusted correctly, you just take any piece of paper, hold it in there, spin this around, see how clean that cuts it, just like a pair of scissors. A lot of people say that it's bad for your grass to use like a gas-powered lawnmower because it just shreds it, whereas this cuts your grass like a, like a piece, uh, like a pair of scissors. Very gentle cut. On the back side of the, the lawnmower, if you do need to make any adjustments, you simply uh, use these bolts right here, adjust either side, until you do get that clean cut on the piece of paper. Look like mine could use a tiny bit of adjustment, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. It's going to work just fine. Okay guys, that's the Fisker Real Lawnmower in action. Uh, no gas, no pollution, no oil changes. You feel like you're sticking it to the man every time you cut your grass. There's actually a brand new Honda lawnmower in that shed right now that a friend is uh, storing here. He says I could use it anytime. I prefer to use this for those reasons I just listed. Thanks for watching this episode of Get Domesticated. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you.